end that is how is mother mary that is mary mother of jesus is described in quran mashallah sister is impressed with islam by seeing a person who's religious and seeing my tapes Our only query is that how is mother mary described in islam and what is the status if you compare what is mentioned about mother mary may allah be pleased with her in the quran as well as the bible in the quran there is a full chapter a full surah called as maryam on the name of the mother of jesus christ peace be upon him maryam if you read all the books in the bible whether the old testament or new testament whether the 66 books of the protestant or 73 books of the catholics there is not a single book which is named after mary but there is a full chapter in the quran called as maryam may allah be pleased with her and if you refer and analyze the story of the birth of jesus christ peace be upon him mentioned in the bible and mentioned in the quran both are different overall they are the same but minute points if you note for example if you read the bible it says that when archangel gabriel comes and asks mother mary that you shall have a son so she replies how shall i have a son where i know it not a man know it not a man me sexually same thing in the quran if you read in the quran in surah al imran chapter number 3 verse number 42 247 where mother mary maryam salam she says that how shall i have a son when no man has touched me so archangel gabriel replies kun fa yakun when allah decrees a matter and says to it be and it is so in the quran it says when mother mary questions that how shall i have a son when no man has touched me that means no man has touched her sexually so archangel gabriel replies when allah decrees a matter and says to it be and it is in the bible archangel gabriel replies that the holy spirit will come unto thee so when a person has to think that what will the holy spirit come on to mary and do what so it lets your mind wander it lets your mind wander what will the holy spirit come unto mother mary and do the meaning is the same it means that without any male intervention jesus christ peace be upon him was born but the way the quran describes is more sublime is more divine and is much more palatable as compared to the bible so if you read in the quran allah says in surah al imran chapter 3 verse 42 allah says that the angels came and told that allah has chosen thee to mother mary and chosen thee above the women of all nations so the honor given to maryam alayhi salam in the quran is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that she is the chosen woman above the women of all nations imagine the quran is being revealed in arabic to the arabs and at that time the arabs and jews did not get along well the quran says a jewish woman the mother of jesus christ peace be upon him mother mary has been honored as the woman chosen above all the other women imagine muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
is giving the message to the Arabs and is actually antagonizing them. That the Jewish woman is chosen above the Arab woman. He did not say that his wife Khatija, may Allah be pleased with her, was the chosen woman or his daughter Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, the chosen woman. He could not because Allah says that the revelation from Allah he has to repeat it. He says in the Quran that Mother Mary is the chosen woman above the women of all nations. So the respect given in the Quran to Mother Mary is far superior even than the Bible. Hope that answers the question, sister.